Hello everyone and welcome to another Infensia video! It's been a long time coming but we're finally doing it now and I'm hoping to get back on track now and in this video I'm gonna reveal my game plan, how I'm gonna get back in the game of creating YouTube content and video games. We had it all! House, cars, motorcycles, bicycles, beautiful nature, spa bath, computers, maybe more importantly more junk than you can ever imagine and that was swamping us down a little bit. We got rid of most of that stuff, applied for a visa, moved to the other side of the world, and here we are now. I'm going to find my way back into doing the things that I love, which is create video games and YouTube videos and spend time with my family uh, without all that baggage that we had back in Sweden. Maybe we should just recap a little bit on the problems. There are small problems, well, medium problems, and the biggest problem. So let's start with a small one, and that was literally that we had too much stuff. Too many things in the house, in the attic, in the garage, in the basement, all the cupboards, everywhere was full of junk. Then we go to the medium problems and that is uh, the future of Sweden is a little bit problematic and the economy even though it's decent it's starting to crackle a little bit now and it's going to head down because we're spending a lot more money in Sweden than we can actually afford to do. We've got uh, a lot of crime stuff is increasing in Sweden too. Shootings there, and they're like kids shooting adults now or kids shooting kids. They're sending in like sub 15 year olds to do the job and it's going downhill and we needed to think about the future for our kids so maybe it's again better somewhere else in the world unless we try it out we won't know. And then we also have the situation in Europe. First World War the major scene there was in Europe uh, Second World War, the major scene was in Europe. I know there's a lot of stuff going up in the Pacific and stuff too, but and now we've got the Russia moving into Ukraine and it's a bit uh, volatile. So again, that added to our reasons for wanting to head out and see where, how far away we could get from that. And then the biggest problem in Sweden, my wife hates darkness and the cold and she's been there for 18 years now and it's my time to try something different. So let's swap the darkness and the cold out for more light, well, at least over the year more consistent light and then uh, eat instead. Very, very hot. UV index 13.5. Hat, sunglasses, long sleeve. It's very hot where I am right now. I'm hot. <laughs> if there are problems, there are solutions. So the solutions to the small problems was get rid of as much as possible and pretty much everything. So car boot sales. So we've been to another flea market, the last one. I think it's the number eight one that we've done. We sold most of the things, we've still got loads of rubbish back at home, but... It's not rubbish, it's called toys. Oh, toys. That's what I said. Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Adverts in left and right in Block It, which is the Swedish version of like Craigslist or Gumtree or whatever. Free up the time by selling the house and then stop doing renovations. I don't really want to renovate a house ever again. It took too much time, too much effort, and it cost too much money for what it was worth. And then we come to the bigger solutions. So we had to find a country somewhere in the world that uh, had a more sustainable and uh, at least the trajectory of the economy should be flatlining, if not uh, increasing. Also, same for the crime. We didn't really want to see a curve of increasing gang violence, increasing crime. And we had a few criteria on the country that we had to pick. I didn't really want to learn another language. I know Swedish, English and a little bit of German. I didn't want to go to Germany. It's uh, got similar problems. An English speaking country it was uh, as well. My wife is English and the kids already speak English. So we were thinking a little bit, should we go to Spain? Well, that's not English speaking, first of all. And Portugal, probably nice, still in Europe. So that leaves a few other countries. We had Canada, we had US and I like the United States. South Africa, same problem there. I think uh, I've heard a lot on the news at least about violence left and right everywhere. Don't want to go there. So that left New Zealand and Australia and we went to New Zealand a few years ago to check it out. I love that place a lot as well. Feels a little bit more remote maybe. But then we settled for let's go with Australia and give that a try. So visa was sorted, English speaking country, trajectory was good for economy and crime, weather was good, fit all the criteria. And that will also be the biggest solution because remember the biggest problem? Wife hates cold and darkness and uh, sleet and snow and whatever else comes in, in Sweden. So biggest problem solved, let's find a country that's warmer and this is it. And the challenge was to actually get rid of all this stuff and it took forever and I have the huge <laughs> I have this huge, huge biggest. I have, a, I have a huge respect now for people that move and especially for people that relocate from one country to another. And I have a lot of respect for my wife because she came from England to Sweden and she didn't even know the language then and that's a bigger step. We're packing. It's Friday night. We've got one more day in the house, a full day and we've got tons of things left to do. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but we'll have to because there's, uh, well, the flight leaves on 
Monday and to, on Sunday we're going to the hotel. We've sold all the furniture, Mama. so we're going to sit here and eat pizza. Can I get water? Pizza, pizza. Nice. Ah. Yeah, two hours before the dump closes. <laughs> Final load. Think we're gonna make it? No. No. We'll have to catch another flight. Oh no. Okay. Or just stay in Sweden for a while. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you must. So we're in the Arlanda Hotel, we made it finally. It took us uh, till 1.30 in the morning and then we drove here with the help of my dad and my sister. We got uh, the train here and reached all the way, slept for a few moments, very nice beds and uh, spectacular view yeah. that we're enjoying before we're packing up the last bits. And we spent half an hour not packing anything. Yeah, yeah. half an hour chilling. Yeah. That's gonna be nice. And then uh, we're back at it. Been an emotional roller coaster now for many months, especially since we came here, because we're trying to phase out the things in Sweden now. We're shutting down companies, trying to shut down the bills, getting the final bits of the house fixed so we can. We've sold it, but it's not actually over into the new owner's hands. So that's been taking a lot of time and effort. And then starting up our new life here, we have to get the kids into two different schools, and then we have to get our identities confirmed, and we have to build up our documentation here in Australia. We had to get the driver's license converted, had to get a lot of government stuff in place to start. We had to get Medicare cards. And so there's so many things, and it's taking a lot of effort. And the first few nights I've spent pretty much without sleeping because we rented a house here, and it was unfurnished. So we had to buy air mattresses for the first few nights, which was a bit of an experience because it was quite cozy. We were all in the same room ordering a little bit of pizza in. And then we had to emergency order stuff from Ikea. We had to get some beds. So this has been my temporary workplace for working online more for the past week and a half, two weeks. Here my kids are, got their air mattresses that we spent the first few nights on. They're using it as our couches now or something. Out here, swimming pool, and a bird is having a bath in our pool. There's another one. Well, let's uh, get some furniture ordered. And one of the things I said before we moved from Sweden is I'm not going to build another IKEA furniture in my life because I built a lot of the stuff in our old house. Came here, well, what are we going to do? Well, we couldn't find stuff that was used because we couldn't go and pick it up. So, well, I didn't pick up the phone. You don't do that anymore. I online I ordered some IKEA beds. And surprisingly, they come a lot faster to the door here than they did in Sweden. And uh, we're heading towards the summer now. We've had a few really warm days here. According to me, anything over 30 is like too warm. And it feels like you're walking out into a sauna. We've had about 34, 35 degrees, I think has been the highest so far. And I think we're a few days away still from the summer. Starts 1st of December here, ends last of February. So we're in for a treat now. We're gonna like st steam uh, steamroll ourselves. No, you don't say that. We're going to treat ourselves with a lot of warmth here anyway. But what's the nice thing is that it's actually cooler in the house. In Sweden, we don't really have air conditions. Here, we've got air conditions. That's a spider. Here, we've got air conditions instead. So we can actually bring the temperature down. So while I'm inside, I'm not so uh, feared. Not so feared. I'm not so scared. Because in, in the Swedish house, in the summer, the heat started to climb up and there was no way to get rid of it. We didn't have AC. And when I was streaming, I had to have a little fan set up right there. It was uh, like a computer case fan. It was blowing cold air in my face. Well, not cold air. It was just blowing air. The big part is done. The move is done. Still got a bits of things to shut down in Sweden. Well, like still shutting down the three companies and actually getting money for the house because we haven't got that. Could take a year because the buyer has weirdly enough got one year to leave his house before he can legally pay us the money. And if he's going to sell his house, then that buyer will need to sell their house to get the money to pay that guy. It's like a chain, an impossible chain. It's like an, an infinite loop. All right then, so what is the plan? How am I going to get back into creating video games and YouTube videos? Well, first of all, was moving from a big setup to a minimalistic setup. And with a big setup, I meant like a room with computers everywhere, monitors, uh, audio gear, microphones, uh, sound, I don't know, all sorts of weird stuff. I invested so much time, money and effort to build a studio, a big setup, big screens, extra screens, I don't know, rack things on the side, lights everywhere. So I 
went from that and I went to a minimalistic setup. So I got myself a laptop instead without a big screen monitor. I sold uh, some of my old camera stuff. I only need one camera, I've realized. And I kept two of the most important lights and two of the most important microphone. I've got one here right here that I'm speaking into now and one up there. Well, I don't know. You probably don't care. I sold my nice, beautiful, big RME uh, Fireface UFX2 interface and I've got a little Scarlet Mini Solo instead now. So I am downsized everything into, basically I fit everything into a single backpack. I got little earbuds instead with noise cancellation instead of my big headphones. So try to downsize everything, wireless mouth, m mouth, mouse, but it's connected now. So again, everything, bring it down so I could bring it to Australia. And also I want to be mobile here. I want to have spent less time on equipment, less time figuring out what to use and when to use, have the stuff that I really need to use and just use that instead. Either I'm going to be here or I can just fold this and bring it. So if we're going somewhere, maybe we're going back to Sweden to Sweden to visit someone. Can't even pronounce it anymore. I'm like Dolph Lundgren in Sweden. I have to speak American. So just uh, to get ready for the move now, I'm uh, downsizing everything from a stationary desktop, which I've always had and I've always complained that anyone is using a laptop. But now I'm actually making the switch myself and I don't expect to love it, <laughs> but I'm going to give it a try anyway. So I've got uh, the nearest thing to a desktop that you can get. I've got the Asus, uh, I don't know, some sort of a weird ROG Strix uh, Mega Machine SCAR 17. Didn't get the special edition though, but I got uh, the second best thing. It's a 3080 Ti, but don't to get confused with a desktop 3090 or anything like that, or even a 3080, because the voltage on this thing is so much lower. So I've actually noticed that, you know, you don't get anywhere near the performance that you could do from the desktop. And this uh, backpack here is gonna host everything that I'm gonna need, I think. I, I can bring this now and when the kids do football and when I have to go on, on trips, uh, maybe like in Australia, I can bring it, I can still work with this stuff. So excellent. Going from a big setup to a minim 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 <laughs> minimalistic setup. That was a big thing. The next part of my plan is don't get too many things. Stop buying stuff that I probably think I need, but I probably don't need because it's clogging me down. So don't buy more stuff than you need. Keep it simple, have what I need and don't buy stuff because it's tempting. And I think I'm going to try to stick to that. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be hard, but I'm going to try. Next part of the plan is getting settled. And we're finally getting there now. So we're in the house. I'm in a room in the house, which is being kitted out a little bit for what I need. We've got uh, beds, we've got a dining area. We've got a living room. We've got things where we can watch TV, get the kids into school, which they are. They're starting. They're going to school now. It's better schools than it was in Sweden. The times are more reliable. It's like nine to three every day. It's not like weird schedules all over the place. We're starting to finally get settled now so I can get back in, in the game. Very important now. And it's been, it's taken a bit longer than I thought it would, but we're finally getting here now. I can sit here, I can talk into the camera and it feels good. Next part of the plan, find people to help. Here, I want to try to find a lot more help for things. Uh, so instead of doing the gardening or renovating or fixing problems, Try to get someone in to do it and it seems like this area has a lot more people like every neighbor is bringing in people to do like their driveways their gardens and stuff like that i don't know if we picked that type of area but it was a lot easier to find people anyway there's just like little business cards or like on the cars it says and in sweden if you wanted to try to get someone to do your garden they'd be like oh okay that's uh it's gonna be expensive because uh, there's not a lot of people in your area doing the gardens and uh, maybe we can come out uh, three thursdays from the first uh, week of december but I'll have to send someone out to calculate on that and we'll see how that goes. But yeah, hmm. here it's like, okay, we've got a house up here. And when you're done with the neighbors, would you be interested to help us out with the driveway and stuff? Sure, yeah, great. Okay, perfect. All right, mate. <laughs> All right. So part of the plan, get help where I can and don't try to do everything myself, especially not with the house. I don't want to do it anymore. I've renovated a lot of the house that we had, trying to fix the garden and everything that was breaking. Don't do it. Get help. Stop it, get some help. Next part of the plan is to reconnect a little bit with my Blender fans, because that was really what got this plan planet, <laughs> this uh, YouTube channel started. It was when I was doing the 10 minute modeling challenge videos and we had this thing going on every week. I wanna reconnect with you guys. So thanks a lot for, if, you, if you're still hanging around here now and been waiting for this day, I wanna be able to meet up with you again. So let's uh, get back into doing a little bit of Blender videos. Not sure what format yet, but the plan is, do some blender content whether it's tips or just like random modeling stuff because i need to practice my low poly modeling again 
been uh, quite a few months since I did any pol po poly, <laughs> low poly modeling, and those skills slip out and go away, and you have to bring them back like a lasso or something. So modeling, especially low poly modeling, I'm not going to go into high poly modeling. I don't have the time, I don't really have the interest, and I don't have the skills. So I'm going to stick to what I love, and that is low poly stuff. Maybe with some texturing, but that's where I draw the line. No high poly, it's low poly. If you want to do high poly, there's loads of channels for that, but make sure you still subscribe to this one because I need you <laughs> and you're welcome here. The next step of my plan is to catch up on Unity because we've been creating Line War for a long time and we were stuck in an old version of the Unity 2018. We've recently upgraded to, to a newer version, but a lot of stuff has happened in Unity and I, I feel like a lot of the content that I've been creating in the past is based on the old pipelines, the old workflows and stuff. So I need to catch up on the state of Unity. Why not do a video about that as well? Because I'm going to find a lot of findings about the pipelines, about the package, packages, about everything. So I'm going to catch up on that, check out the state of Unity. Why am I doing like this? It feels like an Australian football uh, ref or something. Umpire. No, that's tennis, isn't it? Anyway, never mind. Check out the state of Unity and make a video about that and make sure I'm up to speed and using the latest tech in Unity. Probably in preview because everything in Unity is in preview and never know when it's going to get out of it, but we'll find out. We'll find out. The final step of my plan is to practice what I preach. And what do I say a lot is start small and then go bigger. It's so easy to get into the scary habit of doing scope creep. You're thinking small, you're starting to add, oh, I'll do that too, I'll do this, I'll do that. And suddenly you've got the biggest scope in the world. Like a sniper wouldn't even be able to lift it because it'd be so big. Don't go for big scopes. Shrink it down, start small and gradually build up. Don't try to make the biggest video in the world. Go, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And the next video is going to be huge. It's going to be huge. It's going to be too big. So, and it, that's what happened. I started to plan videos and it's going to be extraordinary big. I have to make the channel grow. Start small and then build. Simple as that. Don't go out of proportion. Practice what I preach. Small. Go bigger. Go bigger. Go bigger. Go big or go home. Or go small and get started. Any of those two. I've been working on Line War for a long time. going to continue to do that. But here in my spare time and to do my YouTube videos, I'm going to start with a small game. Super compact. Making a complete game and releasing it. And then maybe when that is done, I can take the next step and do a little bit bigger game. And then maybe a bigger one in the end. But again, plan. Most important part of the plan. Start small and then build from there. Don't let the scope creep. Don't let the creeping scope scope creep to get out of proportions. I don't know. That makes no sense. All right, folks, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this. And that is my game plan to get back into creating video games and YouTube videos. And if you're not subscribed already, please, please, please consider subscribing. <laughs> if you're not subscribed already, please consider doing so. It would help me out a lot. And also a big thank you to my patrons. Without you actually being stuck in a hole right now instead of a room. So I'm happy in meine Hölle. <laughs> that means cave in German. My daughter is uh, learning uh, German, so... Ich, uh, ich habe Sauerkraut in my Hölle. I have Sauerkraut in my uh, cave. Very strange things. Ich habe Sauerkraut in my Lederhosen. I said I could speak a little bit of German, and I really meant it. It was a very little bit of German. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks a lot for hanging tight while I was gone. I'm back now. Let's get started. Let's have a lot of fun, and let's get back into the creation of things. That's how it all started. See you then, and bye for now.